Hey guys, this is Kirk, and I got some quick tips for you for composing in Logic 10. All right, I got a blank setting set up here, and we're at 120 BPM, and we're at a resolution at 16, so that's going to be 16 notes, and you'll see why that's important in a second. First thing you do is you can pull up the sound. I got some strings going, and so I can control click here, and it makes an empty MIDI region. I can go inside here by double clicking or you can hit the letter P. So double click and you're inside this piano roll. Right here you see a piano to your left and you see this matrix of a piano. Now when you guys are looking at this, I want you to really imagine this piano in this whole matrix. So instead of kind of finding a C and then coming over here and putting a C there, I want you to really imagine this whole thing as a piano. So there's a C, there's a C, there's a C, there's an F sharp, there's an F sharp. So I would start looking at this matrix as one big long piano and that'll kind of help you see things better. But really your best friend in this world is going to be this guy right here, your pencil tool. And he's in the command tool so when you hold command it turns into a pencil. When you let go it's an arrow. Pencil, arrow, pencil, arrow. And the pencil is awesome because you can just click and make notes. If you double click, they go away. The thing about it is whatever you make, the next note you make is just like it. So if I want to grab it over here and stretch it, if I touch it, the next note I make is just like it. You can lasso and drag and delete it all. Boom. So when you are writing with your pencil, each one of these is a 16th note because of the grid is 16 resolution. So if I want to make a C that is a quarter note, I'm going to hold my pencil with command, click, hold it, and made one automatically. But let's say I made a 16th note. And then make my next one is a quarter. Oh no, I can stretch it out. And my next one I want to be a eighth note. Click and hold, pull it back. Now I got two sixteenths. There's an eighth note. All right. So, and then you say, well, my next one I want to do a sixteenth note. Well, I can just go touch the sixteenth, and then I can make three sixteenth notes. So getting quick on your pencil tool is going to really help you out. Now, also, let's say I want to grab this note and move it up. Well, I can click it and drag it up, and that's helpful. But I might go, oh, I go over there, or I go over here. There's an easier way. If you hold Option, highlight the note you want to move, hold Option, you got those arrow keys up and down. You just hit them up and down. You hold Option and Shift, it goes up an octave. That is awesome. Now, what if I want to move them side to side? Well, there you can set that up with the same thing, option and arrows, but you have to right click and then go to set nudge value to division. That's going to follow whatever you have here. So if I want to move this 16th note over, I would hold option and hit my right and left arrows, right, going over, left, coming on back. Now, if I hold shift in this world, it actually extends the length of my notes by division. And that is set here, and there's your little snap grid here, set by division. Okay, so that was some quick tips and trick for composing inside Logic in your piano roll, and specifically with your pencil tool. This guy's awesome. Learn it, use it, love it, make some music.